Thank you for joining us for our coverage of the Great American Eclipse. I'm Shari Williams alongside Brian Taft. Thanks for joining us, of course, as we are keeping an eye as the solar eclipse. We're just three minutes away from the best viewing area here in the Delaware and Lehigh Valley. We are interrupting ABC's coverage of the national event to bring you the local view as the event happens here. As Shari just mentioned, about three minutes, 30 seconds. This a live look right now from our camera in Center City equipped with a special filter this afternoon to give you the look to give you the view of what is happening at this very moment and take a look. I mean, that's as pretty close to totality as we're going to see. And, and this now a live look from our nation's capital as the first family gathers there on the Truman Balcony to take part in this historic event. This event has been, of course, getting all the talk, all the buzz leading up to today and the first family not to be left out. We see them also outside wearing those special glasses, looking up to the sky as they too are hoping to get their best view of this solar eclipse. Uh, a moment in history. We have not seen uh, this total solar eclipse from east coast to west coast, west yeah. coast to east coast, since 1918, been nearly 100 years. And anyway, we see Attorney General Jeff Sessions and Ivanka Trump. And it, it's one of those reminders that despite all of the stuff going on in the country and the world, that this is one of those moments that we set aside all divisions and, and everything that separates us for this one moment of unity to look up in the sky with those special glasses and realize that we are much less significant in the universe than we often think we are. This is a moment to recognize there's something far greater than all of us as the sun and the moon and the earth align to give this for many people once in a lifetime view. And it's it, once in a lifetime, certainly here in the United States, as this is the first, as Shari mentioned, coast to coast exclusive to the United States uh, solar eclipse in nearly a century, the moon blotting out the midday sun. Let's take a look at some video, if we have it, from when this began to race ashore in Oregon uh, this afternoon. It began in Madras, Oregon. That was the first place at 1.20 this afternoon, our time, to witness it. And we've kind of put together a collection of, of events, a collection of pictures to show you how it transgressed and how it progressed right there. It is it's been wonderful to watch, you know, those who are in the path of totality have this experience. Uh, so this is the view because that's the 100 percent as we are close to 80 percent here uh, in the Lehigh and Delaware Valley coming up in about one minute and 20 seconds. Let's head outside, shall we? To meteorologist Cecily Tynan, who, of course, is keeping an eye on the forecast as we get ready for our solar eclipse. The best view that we'll have, Cecily, in just about one minute. We showed from the Belmont Plateau. It looks exactly like that, except for if you're viewing through these glasses, the sun appears kind of orangey yellow, and you do have to take breaks. Oh, there we go. That's a picture from the Belmont Plateau with a special filter. If you're looking through the glasses, it's the same exact image, but instead of the sun looking white, it actually looks kind of orange. So I, it's kind of neat to be out here and to see all, all my coworkers are out here right now. They're watching as well. Everyone seems to be pretty happy. I have to admit, I thought since we weren't going to be in the path of totality, that it would almost feel like there was a big party going on that we weren't invited to. But this is still really cool as well. Now, that being said, there are some clouds out there. So I do want to show you satellite and show you what's going on as far as the cloud conditions because we have been seeing intermittent clouds on and off through the afternoon. And it's one of these situations where they're drifting in and out of the shot. So the satellite will show you that it's not a wide area of clouds. Now, I also want to show you this too. You see how the clouds all of a sudden look like they're disappearing? It's actually because this is visible satellite. So the visible satellite really depends on the sun due to the fact that we only have about 20% of the sun right now. We're actually losing the satellite. But if you look at the gray, you can see that there are some patchy clouds around. Just be patient. Again, they're intermittent. They'll be in and out of your view. And I have to say, it's really neat to see so many people excited about science and in a good mood about this. So we are right now in the maximum at 244. And yes, it's still a bright and sunny day for the most part. Again, 20% of the sun is still as bright as 60,000 full moons. And if you are using these, take a break every now and then. It'll give you a little bit of a headache. <laughs> Back to you guys. It's really neat out here. Yeah. I think everyone from the station is outside, except for you except guys. Except for us. So yeah. thank you. We want to see the image of what's happening out there. And here it is. It's back because we are in the moment of the best viewing time of this solar eclipse as it makes its way across 
across our country. Yeah, and we recognize that a lot of you don't have those special glasses, so this may be your best opportunity right here through your television screen to safely uh, look at this just majestic, majestic view. Soak that in for just a moment as the sun is blocked out by the moon, which is 400 times smaller. But uh, just an incredible moment there. Sarah Bloomquist, live at the Franklin Institute. Sarah, we're going to kind of go back and forth between you and this picture, but, but you're there with a whole lot of excited folks who gathered together to watch this moment with their very own eyes today. <laughs> Their very own eyes, as we talked about the last time, a lot of people out here with their own families, hundreds of people, and a lot of them with their own families. In fact, this is my daughter, Andy, and her friend, Riley. And Andy, <laughs> I just took my glasses, and here I'm going to help her. So you put these on. It's a little bit cloudy, but turn around. What do you see? Look at them. Look up there at the sun. Put it. Keep them on your eyes. Turn this way. Look over there. No, this, <laughs> this way. Turn a little bit. See them? What do you see? What do you see? It's over this way. You got it? All right. Well, anyway, <laughs> this went really well. <laughs> Andy is here with her friend Riley, and everybody is checking it out, mostly for the first time, and it is quite a sight. And let me see these back here for a second. As we look up right now, I mean, it's what you've been seeing. A lot of, lot of, bit of a little bit of cloud cover now, but everybody's having fun doing this? Yeah! Super cool. Let's all look at the same time. You ready? All right. Sarah, how Char, was it in, in the studio? I'll question for you, Sarah. The glasses. How was it, Sarah, for sure. as far as how dark did it get? We talked about it would maybe feel like dusk or not. How did you describe that? It's not that dark. It's um, I can tell it's a little less sunny. It's more like an overcast day, I think, at the moment. But we definitely can feel a little bit of a dip in the temperature um, as well right now. Does everybody agree? Does it feel a little cooler? Yeah, it feels. Yeah, it does. So yeah. she's asking me, does it feel like darkness? Not that, right? No. And it doesn't feel like it's turning to night. I said like a cloudy, yeah, overcast. Day. It's like, yeah, it's about like it feels like it's about to turn into a storm or something. It does. That's yeah, exactly what it feels. That'd be like. a good description. What's your name? Hey, Colin. Sir. Colin, thanks so much for You're talking awesome. to Sarah, us. I'm going to interrupt you for just a so moment. So I think that's a pretty good way yeah. of putting to it. Sure, go ahead. Okay, just because we want to get out to another oh, spot that had a little bit of cloud cover today, but it did not diminish the moment for our own meteorologist Adam Joseph, who's live there in St. Joseph. Of Missouri this afternoon. Adam, you experienced it about 30 minutes ago, and boy, it was awesome, wasn't it? It got pitch black here. We had that totality. Uh, we thought it was a lost cause. Most people left here because it was storming and it was thundering and there was rain and clouds, but the window of opportunity, oh, we had two minutes and 38 seconds to see totality. <laughs> and we, and did. we saw it. And what was all of your before. reactions when you oh. saw it? Oh my gosh, it was awesome. It was just awesome, beautiful. Just it was beautiful. pitch black here when it happened. It was like a glow on the horizon. And we just couldn't believe the ring around the the moon. Hey, Listen, goosebumps. Right. Goosebumps. Yeah. goosebumps. All right, how many people actually teared up? Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> this is my six, and it was like, oh my God, I'm actually going to see it. You never <laughs> saw the other five? No, I saw the other five, but we thought we had written this one off, yeah. and then all of a sudden it was there, and you're going, oh. A little oh, rainy. A little yeah. rainy. Yeah, so guys, it, it was cloudy here for most of the day, thunder and lightning. Most yeah. people left. We stuck it out. They stuck it out, <laughs> and it paid off. Yeah. It truly did. Five minutes before the sun showed. It did. It came through. So, guys, uh, I tell you, it was a, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity right. for Absolutely. most people. Absolutely. The last time it happened on this soil, where we are, was 214 years ago. Wow. The next one is about 200 years away. Awesome. We're going to be around for that? <laughs> oh, I'm going to find one closer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, uh, my reaction, you got to see it. We'll post it on my yeah. Facebook this afternoon. I, I even cried yeah, in that many news It was I, pretty unreal I'm going to break down the fourth wall of television here and admit that Adam just texted me a few minutes ago and said, Brian, I, I just cried on air. I can't believe that happened. But you know what? No shame, No Adam, shame. Because it's a very, That's very... between us. It is. <laughs> it's but out to the world now. We all now. witnessed it, my friend. So really, a special moment. A special moment Great work there, Adam. Today. All right. Uh, I think we're done, right? Are we done yeah, here? Yeah, for, for, uh, right. for this portion. For this portion, <laughs> but we encourage you to join us on 6abc.com as we continue our online digital coverage of this historic uh, solar eclipse happening here and all across the United States today. Special moment. Glad yeah. we could share it with you. We'll return you now back to ABC's programming and the great American eclipse.